this idol documentary. They don't want, they want to be shot. They want to be on camera. So I had a no, I had, you know, I have no problem to shoot everything. They, they gave me an access, so it was pretty much easy. They know that they're going to be on camera and they, because they want to be star, they want to be, you know, famous. So they are very willing. The hard, you know, the, the problem I had for this documentary was more like, you know, I mean, every documentary has a different uh, problem. But uh, the problem I had with this NMB48 was more like persuading uh, the management side. You know, they, you know, they, I had to tell them at the first moment, give me all access except the dressing room. And then they thought about it and then they may say, okay, we don't want to show this side, those, that side, or, you know, they, they say so. But then I was like, okay, maybe, you know, but uh, I cannot make good movie if you give me a lot of limitation. So we negotiated and they said finally, yes, okay, I give you, we give you all access. So I got the all access to everywhere. So I could go anywhere and I can talk to anyone. So, so that was very important for me to be, uh, have all access. And Did you have final editing control? Yes, I had a final cut too. So I insisted at that point too. That's a good question. The, I insisted I do need to have the final cut. So no one can say, okay, change that or change this. But uh, of course, said that, being said that, uh, of course, there's always the conflicts, which is that they come to you very nicely. I know you have a final cut, but we, we, I, we have a favor. I want you to do, if possible, if possible, I want you to add this, add this, and take out this, take out this, and add this. Or something. So they have a lots of requests, like a 10 page request or something. <laughs> so, so they do that. But I still had the uh, authorization that say yes and no. So that was, uh, you know, uh, courtesy of this uh, production company, the Toho. So that was a good uh, um, contract I made before doing everything, before the, do, getting into this production. So that was okay. But uh, uh, talking about the nuclear nation, this uh, filming uh, people who don't want to be in shot is always difficult because uh, these uh, Fukushima evacuee people, they are in the uh, state of uh, uh, refugees. They don't have homes and they are living in the shelter. And so, you know, they don't want to be shot. So that was uh, much more difficult for me from the start point. Much, much more difficult to negotiate with the Toho and the management people for the idol culture. They, it was like, a, it takes like a week or two about the, just email. But uh, negotiating with this uh, evacuee people, actually it's not really negotiation on email. Like you really have to meet people and gain their trust. So it took me for two months to commute there to the, the shelter every day and meet people without camera and talk to the people, then tell them, you know, actually it's not really persuading. It's more like being with them and just chatting, chatting everything, everyday life, you know, chatting about uh, the baseball yesterday or, or soccer game yesterday or something. So you kind of, Tell them we, we are, I, I'm with your friends and so you're okay to talk to me and so like a kind of bring their girl down. So that took me two months before they say, yes, you can come to my room and you can shoot. So that was a more difficult challenge I had. What kind of advice do you have for the young filmmakers who want to make uh, films that are politically and socially engaged? I think it's up to them. It's up to you. It's, uh, it's up to you uh, whether or not you want to make uh, the propaganda film or or make a film uh, the the you know cinema verite style or the reality uh, 
reality, I, say, I would say. It's, it's really up to you. Like, I mean, the, you can make a film which has the strong message to the audience and then tell them you should do this or that. And then on the contrary, you can also make a film that which just trying to show the fair depiction of the reality without any message. So the, uh, the, the audience can take, absorb what's going on in the, the community was, which was depicted in the film, but there's no message. But you have to, the audience have, it has to think about it. But there's a really good, a lots of good films, uh, usually um, the latter side. I mean, the, the good films are usually don't have a strong messages. Actually, they only show how the world is and they make you think about, okay, what do you have to do or what do you want to do or, or uh, what kind of uh, uh, the agenda you have to think about. So it's, it's the, I think good films, good documentary films, I would say, are always uh, uh, trying, uh, try to refrain from making an easy uh, conclusion. Rather than that, it shows the uh, diversity of the world.